Hi students, today we will discuss about thermocouple, its construction and principle of operation. Thermocouple are the transducers used for the measurement of temperature variations. It is an active transducer, means it does not require any external source or supply for its operation. As we all know, transducers converts non-electrical quantity to electrical quantity. So here thermocouple converts temperature to voltage or current. Thermocouples are used for the measurement of temperature up to 1400 degree Celsius. Then moving to the construction, it consists of at least two dissimilar metals welded or fused together to form two junctions P and Q. One junction is connected to a body whose temperature is to be measured. This junction is called hot or measuring junction. The other junction is connected to a body of non-temperature. This is the cold or reference junction. The reference junction temperature is usually 0 degree Celsius. Therefore, thermocouple measures the unknown temperature of the body with a reference to the known temperature. Different combinations of metals used for the construction of thermocouples are iron constant and copper constant and etc. Moving to the principle of operation, the working of thermocouple is mainly based on two effects, Seebeck effect and Peltier effect. Seebeck effect states that when two different or unlike metals joined together to form two junctions, an EMF is generated at the two junctions. But it failed to explain the cause behind the generation of EMF. That is explained in Peltier effect. So Peltier effect states that when two dissimilar metals are joined together to form two junctions, an EMF is generated within the circuit due to the different temperatures of the two junctions of the circuit. So these two effects are the basic principle behind the working of thermocouple. Next we will discuss how unknown temperature is measured using a thermocouple. A general circuit diagram of a thermocouple is shown. Here two dissimilar metals A and B are joined at the two junctions P and Q. P is the hot or measuring junction whereas Q is the reference or cold junction and a PMMC instrument is connected as shown in figure. Generally, cold junction is kept at 0 degree Celsius and the hot junction, hot junction has an unknown temperature which we want to measure. Due to the temperature difference between two junctions, an EMF is generated at both the junctions and a net current flows. As the generated EMF is proportional to the temperature difference, the amount of current flow will also be proportional to the temperature difference and therefore meter can be calibrated directly in terms of temperature. Now let's consider another case when both the junctions are kept at same temperature then there will be no temperature difference hence Seebeck and Peltier effect will no longer exist. Therefore, no EMF generation will take place. Next is the EMF produced in the thermocouple mathematically expressed as E is equal to A delta theta plus B delta theta square where delta theta is the difference in temperature between the two junctions and A and B are the constant. Generally, A is very very greater compared to B. Therefore, we can neglect the term B. So, 1 becomes E is equal to A del theta. Delta theta is equal to E by A. From this expression, it is clear that 
the temperature difference between the two junction is proportional to emf generated in the thermocouple if the temperature difference is small more emf will be generated and also the constant a depends on the materials used for the construction of thermocouple this is how temperature is measured using thermocouple thank you